Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, we can all uh, make fools of ourselves whenever we feel like. That's the beauty of free speech. And the beauty of free, beauty of free speech is that other people can point it out and talk about it and expose our, uh, you know, uh, misgivings and errors. Well, when we have them, what can we do? We, if we're honest with ourselves and if we want to improve our worldview and the way we are as beings, uh, that means uh, evolve intellectually and morally, we can look at that, we can analyze what it has been said about us and said, well, that's true, I was a dumbass. Now you have two options. One, to say, thank you very much, I will change that in my uh, little brain over there and I will become better. I will understand things. I said I, I will say more than before. Thank you very much. Or you can say that's not true. You are a bad person. Now we have here and um, the Ukraine's deputy prime minister. She will make a statement that these guys in Ukrainska Pravda don't understand. That's a tyrannical statement. And neither the people in the West, probably they understand it because, you know, you don't have to be a genius. But I will show you how nonchalantly she will make this statement without knowing that she expresses definitely tyrannical trends, mentality, not trends, mentality. And I will show you. Here, this article comes from Ukrainska Pravda from November 22nd, 2023. Ukraine's deputy prime minister believes, that's I think the right word, that, and I'm quoting, strong states will not allow Hungary to veto Ukraine's EU accession. So this person's worldview is that some strong guys will intervene and not allow other weak guys to make a decision their decision. So there, therefore she thinks that a nation in the European Union, like Germany or uh, France, will intervene and will shut up you, uh, Hungary and will not allow it to veto, to follow the rules. Now that is a corrupt mentality, my friends. That is a tyrannical mentality. It's one based on force. That's how she functions. I guarantee you she's against Russia's forceful invasion of Ukraine, right? But in her worldview, just because she's at the receiving end right now, she doesn't like it. But she's okay with Hungary being at the receiving end. She promotes it. She's certain. She believes. That's the way she thinks the world should work. We know it works that way. Uh, supposedly it doesn't, but it is. So she is someone who tells the truth out loud. But she tells it and we can analyze it. She is a tyrannical inclined brain. What do you mean strong states will not allow? They can't not allow. There are some rules, baby doll. Let's put a name on this uh, big lipped uh, woman, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Olha Stefanicina. Stefanishina. Stefanishina. Olha Stefanishina. How old are you, Stefanishina? Are you 37, 35? I will look. Let's take a look on this woman and see how. Why am I looking at that? Because I want to see how much experience she could have had in this world, all right, uh, in order to talk like that. And she's a deputy prime minister. All right, maybe she's older than that. She is born in what? She's born in 80, 85, 95, 2005, 2015, and you got what? Eight more years. So it's 38. That's about the age uh, just by looking at her. Well, she right here, 38. She is not, let me show you. She's not an imbecile, shouldn't, but I think to be a whatever deputy prime minister, right here, 38, being 38. 29th of, of October. <laughs> I know someone <laughs> born on that date, not uh, 85. So, 
she is already how long has she been she's in office from 2020 so, so from 35 so she is in the office since it was 35 4th of Ju june assumed office right here uh by De dennis Mihal. he likes blondes i guess but she's not a real blonde anyway uh, nothing against that but uh I mean, this, am I not supposed to uh, uh, observe the, the obvious right there? I don't think she is. But maybe she is, but I don't think so. Who cares, right? I'm not the one. Mm -mm 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 -mm, so why would I care? Here she is. So this, maybe she is. She, she was 35 when she was appointed. Appointed. Picked. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're good. You're going to be. Just exaggerating, okay? Not. So 35, now she's 38. So she tells us that big states were not allowed. In the European Union, there are rules, set of rules. In, you remember, Ukraine wants to be part of the European Union. So, with this mentality, what do you think they bring to the European Union? This mentality? That means when they're going to get in, they would expect the European Union to function the way the Ukrainian uh, blah 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 functions. And I have no doubt it functions based on that, because I come from the, that area and I, and I kind of know, no, I kind of, I know how it works in Romania. So... Crimea River. So let's see. Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration. So she should know something. <laughs> Expressed hope. She hopes that these guys are going to be tyrants and not allow uh, Hungary veto something that they will see fit for their country to veto. That European, Euro, European Union members would not allow Hungary to block the start of negotiations with Ukraine on joining the EU. With this mentality, I don't want you. She's too fat for me. You can have her, right? That polka song. Um, how's that? Uh, I don't want you. Uh, you can have her. She's too fat for me. Anyway, she said that in, a, uh, in an interview, blah, blah, blah. The official uh, admitted that Hungary has a legal opportunity to block the start of negotiations on Ukraine accession to the European Union. So she has, it has the legal opportunity. So legally, they apply. They are legal. No, they're nothing illegal. At the summit, she called alarming the fact that the European Commissioner of Hungary at one of the recent events did not mention the European Commission's recommendation on negotiations whatsoever. And he says, but I think that Hungary's veto is much more important for the strong EU states than for Ukraine because the future of Europe is at stake. No, it's not. With you or without you, Europe still goes. That's a uh, narcissistic worldview, baby doll. From Albania to Chisinau. Yeah, get them in and you're going to see what you have. More like you. And the understanding that the decisions that are being made now affect stability in Europe in general. Well, you can't destabilize a, a region and then they say you need, a, be, need us because it's, uh, uh, the region is destabilized. You're part of that. Why? Minsk agreements. You didn't implement it. Your fault. How do you want me to take it? You signed it. It became international law. You didn't follow through. Whose fault? Oh, the Russians attacked us. Uh, uh, unprovoked? Uh, <laughs> really? Okay. And NATO is at uh, Russia's doors and uh, Russia just should go and sleep for the winter, right? Hibernate for a little bit, the Russian bear. Because the other guy, the jackals, are not going to eat them while they're sleeping. Jesus Christ, my friends. Yeah. And uh, St Stefanisnia explained that after Ukraine's victory, Europe should cement, I'm calling this victory, on the continent with people like you with a mentality like you, you got the Romanians in and others with the same mentality. So back off. Not that, not that the Europeans are somehow, you know, angels or their, their values are perfect or anything like that. But at least you see they going forward. I have a personal example, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go very evasive. I don't want to be too uh, personal in this one. I had to deal with the Romanian, uh, with some Romanians um, and uh, authorities, people in charge of certain things, and the same attitude that I left decades ago is over there. That country uh, and those people that I dealt with are not uh, from the bottom of the society. So they should know better, that's my point. And the same attitude of, instead of promoting good, they try to destroy it unless they are in charge. It's a certain kind of mentality uh, that uh, I will try to translate it in English. Um, how, how is that? Samoara capra vecinului? 
so if my goat dies, I hope that uh, my neighbor's goat dies too. Just because my goat dies, died. This is an expression in Romania. Uh, that's our, and that's with no offense to anyone. If you are, if you go into Romanian culture, you're gonna find some water capra vicinului. It's something that we Romanians know very well. It's a thing. So I had to deal with again with this kind of, uh, uh, we call it in Romanian, umbxiala, uh, umbxiala. Uh, with ku, another bad word will be belit. This word, and these are old words from uh, since I left that country. Umbxit. Uh, that is. Uh, People that are, you know, I can't even find a word in English. Maybe if I think a little bit longer, but I want to keep you here. Uh, you know, there, there's the same mentality. I don't see that here. Why? It's something that these guys are not that personal. Therefore, the interest, yeah, my interest, but like moving things forward over there is like, no, if I am not in charge, I want everybody to this kind of mentality. I'm exaggerating, but that's how the thing is. If I'm not in charge, for whatever reason, then I want everybody to fail. This is the attitude. Here is not the same. It's not the same. It has its, its you know, uh, negative uh, uh, points here too, or cultural trends or whatever, but so the same with this woman. They should be stopped. We should be the ones. Baby doll, with you, your country, your people, or without you, this planet will still be turning around, my friends. You should learn that in what? When you're about 15, 14 in your life, that the life goes on with or without you. Uh, in the same way. You're not going to, oh my God, with me or without me, I'm going to change the world. I hope you will change it for the best. But how many are those people? Can you name a few that really did that? If you're the one, I wish you success and thank you very much. I hope you do it. But St Stefanis Shinya definitely is not one of them. And the way uh, and by whom Ukraine is led right now, definitely not. Definitely not. More like that in the European Union, then the whole European Union's uh, culture will change. Not that I like European Union. I think it's a, it's a uh, Soviet... Uh, uh, Soviet Republic, that's how it looks right now, with a dictatorship in the Brussels, and we don't even know who are the guys in charge. Uh, Ursula is not, uh, Michel is not, Borrell is not, these guys are not in charge. They are what we see behind them. Because I don't think these guys get together at a coffee or at a mm, 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 party and they decide, you know what, ha, let's make this legal, man. Let, let's make this a right from our us or our pussies. It's a right. I don't think that's what happens. I think there are a lot of people telling them, you know, they did that probably somewhere else and tell us, hey, you know what? It's good that Hungary uh, doesn't have uh, this kind of marriage, but they accept this kind of marriage and they, uh, they uh, do this and they identify this. And if not, we're not going to give them the money. So that's a blackmail. You do what we tell you to do and then we give you the money. Like a little piece of sugar you give to a horse or to a dog. <laughs> if it tumbles or does something for you. That's European Union for you. So she should stay far away from power. But somehow she is the spokesperson. She should know better. Probably she knows, but she says it nonchalantly. For me, it reveals who Stefanishnia is. A tyrant. Tyrant mentality. And uh, I think she's also, uh, <laughs> um, I would say, narcissistic. She thinks that without us, they need us. Yeah, they need you, but without you, you know. And besides, they don't need you the way you are. They can suck your, uh, they can suck your resources without you being in the European Union. They can do that. They've been doing this for time immemorial. What are you talking about? They don't have to get you over there. And besides, uh, ask the Americans first. They will decide for all of you. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.